All right, well, there is a new way to safely walk your dog in the summer heat. Run Doggy Run is a mobile gym for your four legged friends. Now they'll come to your house so your dog can get a little walk in without you having to worry about their pavements or their paws, I should say, burning on the pavement. Now the mobile gym has air conditioning and each training session is based on your dog's fitness level, but it's more than just a walk. It's great for behavior control. It's great for weight management. It's convenient for the owners. They don't have to walk in the heat. Now it is $30 for 30 minutes. If you want to try it out, we will post a link to their website on KTNV.com. Justin Bruce, I feel like someone has created something for everything. And that little dog's face looks so happy. His little tongue's just hanging out like, I'm walking, I'm having fun. <laughs> Goodness gracious, you know, with our uh, local gym uh, shut down, I'm thinking maybe I should just have the doggy walking van come to my house for me. Get a quick run in in a half hour. Uh, we are looking at some wind developing this afternoon. Some gusts of 35 miles per hour, so there's a red flag warning for elevated fire danger. Now tomorrow still breezy with some 25 mile per hour gusts. Might even see an isolated storm tomorrow. I'll show you future casts in a second and then Friday. Things calm down. Kalina, there's actually kind of some good news with respect to the weekend forecast, so we'll talk about that next. You all right, man? He's got a gun. A man in a parked car killed by police. What new body cam video reveals about the seconds before the deadly shooting? And quarantine snacking just got easier. The new boxed wine that comes with Cheez-Its. So we've got the wind today. The heat is on at 106 degrees. We're looking at 102 tomorrow, so a little bit of a drop. And hey, that's technically below average. Friday, also 102. All right, ooh, Saturday, 101. It sounds silly saying this, but that's four degrees below average, and it's going to be the least hot weekend we have seen. And gosh, clean. I'll check the weather records, but at least the last three weeks. Monday, though, we start to heat up. We'll talk about wind and rain chances and all that with the seven-day planner. All right, Justin, thank you so much. New this morning, police in Phoenix have released body cam video showing the moments before they shot a man who was sleeping in his car. Police were looking for a suspect in a stabbing, and they say James Garcia refused to get out of his car. Now, moments later, an officer breaks in the car window and says he sees Garcia raising a gun. He raised his gun up, and he saw him flinch over and look over. Um, was afraid that he was either going to shoot the officer who just broke the window and didn't have a gun in his hand or he's going to lean over and shoot me. Now the officer opened fire killing Garcia. An investigation is now underway to determine if the officer's actions were justified. A website named Rent a Hitman actually helped police stop a murder for hire plot in Michigan. Police say Wendy Wayne contacted the site offering $5,000 plus travel expenses for someone to kill her ex-husband. But instead of linking her to a hitman, the owner of the website called police. He used a, uh, a state trooper posing as the hitman and there was a conversation and she provided some funds for travels and at that time arrest was made. Police say the owner of the site claims he's helped stop more than 130 murders. Well, this morning, 14 people are recovering after a funeral was interrupted by gunfire in Chicago. Police say someone in a black car pulled up and began firing at those attending the service. Some people at the funeral ended up returning fire. Firefighters say many of the victims were taken to the hospital with injuries ranging from serious to critical. Police right now are questioning a person of interest. Community members there believe the shooting was gang related. Well, getting paid to give blood. Ohio University researchers say that might need to be the new reality because blood supply <clears throat> is getting low. Now, they say this could be a way to motivate younger people to roll up their sleeves. Concern might be that payment uh, leads people to be externally motivated to give blood, that they're doing it for the money. But people are, by and large, doing this at the beginning because they're also feeling very altruistic. A study found about 80% of college-aged people would be willing to give blood if they were paid. 
Walmart workers will get to spend Thanksgiving with their families and they're also getting a bonus. For the first time in more than 30 years, Walmart announced it'll close all of its stores on the Thanksgiving holiday. Now, the retail giant also says it's handing out about $428 million in bonuses next month. Full-time associates will also receive $300, while part-time associates will receive $150. Now, those bonuses will go out on August 20th. Very nice. All right, Amazon Prime Day is being pushed back because of the pandemic. Prime Day normally takes place in mid-July. Amazon says it's pushing the day back to ensure the safety of its employees and selling partners. So far, though, no word yet on when the actual date will be, but the company says it'll share more details soon. New this morning, a soldier